Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the week of May 20th through the 26th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, right? It's not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that's not, not rushing. Um, this, this could be somebody that lacks confidence. Somebody could also be dealing with an untrustworthy individual. I mean, we need to get a bunch more cards. This card can mean so many things. You really got to pay attention to what's, what's around it. But somebody is not really moving forward. They may be stuck or something. Or they're dealing with an energy thief. I mean, it could be. Who knows? Ooh, this is the devil card. This is an unhealthy situation. Somebody is probably dealing with definitely an unhealthy, they're in an unhealthy situation, no joke, with those two cards. But progress is being made. But somebody is clinging to the past, they're clinging to something something from their past they may try they may be trying to escape from some memories of the past bury those memories with an addiction of some sort this is an addiction it's stealing their energy causing them delays anyway but this is this is this is victory coming victory is coming this is being recognized for something so you are being recognized for something, for your, for your valor, perhaps, or your hard work. Somebody's being recognized. If somebody's in an unhealthy situation, and that is the damn truth. There's no growth. There's unhappiness. There's probably some depression. Somebody's trying to escape. They're trying to bury their feelings. and It's, it's like poor ill health because of something. Could be abusing yourself, somebody. This could be self sabotage. Mm, causing a delay in success. There's some sort of bad habit or unhealthy situation that is causing a delay in success. And this is not something that you can point the other finger, you can point your finger at somebody else. I don't think it is. Because you have the power. You do. This is the sort of power. You have the power. You have the skills. You, you have the ability to take back your power. And, you know, bring abundance into your life. You do have that power. You do. So, I mean, pointing the finger at anybody is not going to help. So, somebody, this is the truth. This is the sort of truth. The raw truth is, is that you are the victor. You are the victor. So you will find victory. You will get to victory, but there's a delay. There's a delay. Could be drinking. Somebody could be drinking too much. You see those cups? It's alcohol or whatever. Somebody could be drinking too much, and it's affecting their health. Maybe somebody needs to quit drinking, dump it out, stop drinking. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody could be trying to bury their, their past with drugs or alcohol. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Anyway, I do see abundance here. There's abundance. There's money. There's money. There's stability. There's security at home. Maybe the, the home isn't as bad or money's coming in, perhaps. Somebody could be moving home. But there's a delay. There's a delay. Somebody isn't finding the discipline or the willpower to face their fears. So it's almost like somebody is drowning themselves in some sort of addiction. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. It could go all the way back to your childhood. This is childhood. This is family. It could go back to your childhood. There could be this could be something that has been inherited. This could be an addiction that has been inherited. You know, genetics or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it could come go from a bad childhood. It could stem from a bad childhood. You know, I don't know. Or not having a family or something like that. Um, has to, I, mean, I don't know where this is coming from for some of you. And this is weird. But this might have to do with your father. 
odd, I know. Anyway, I feel as though maybe you need to ask for help. This is that your friends help you. Now, the Four of Cups reversed. This is, is letting go of regrets. It's the end of stagnation. So this is re-energized. So for some of you, you're coming out of this period. All right? Because this is victory, making progress. Some of you have been here and you are progressing to a better place. It's like you've taken your power back. You're feeling stable and secure. Your money is starting to look up. You're, you're heading in the right direction. Put it that way. But this chariot reversed is needing to be disciplined. Be disciplined. Don't go back to your old bad habits. You could have some friends that don't really... I mean, maybe they don't have your best interest in heart. I'm not sure. They may not have your best interest. They may be selfish. They may be all they're doing is caring about themselves. And they know that you have a problem and they're bringing you into it. Be careful. Okay, be careful. Um... Make sure you align yourself with the people that really support you and support your needs and they support your your habits, you know, your unhealthy habits too. You know, they, they empower you. They don't disempower you because it feels like you've got somebody here that is disempowering you. And it's like they're stealing your power. They're stealing your energy. And I think that you've worked hard to take it back. This could be a sibling. It could be a child. It could be a... A father, it could be a family member, I don't know who it is. It's, it's like, there's an opportunity for happiness here, and there's an opportunity for growth, but it's like you're, you're fighting against somebody. It's like somebody isn't, they don't have your back. So I'm sorry to say that. You could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Leo. But I do feel as though there is definitely um, re-energized, looking forward now, looking forward. So I think that you guys are taking back some of your energy, perhaps. I hope that's what's going on. Ooh, there's nice. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with somebody who is not being very honest with you. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They treat people unfairly. It's an unjust situation. I think that you are. You may live with this person. You may live with a person who doesn't respect you. And I think what's going on here is you're probably doing quite well. You are probably doing quite, quite, quite well. And this person it feels like they just want to cut you down. Maybe they're jealous of you. Anyway, you're doing you're doing you're doing much, 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 much better. I see abundance. I see you, you know. feeling very empowered, feeling very good about who you are. You know, you've taken action to bring success and abundance to your life. And I think that you got somebody from, from your childhood or your past or somebody that you live with. I don't know why I keep thinking that. It could be somebody you work with, too, but there's it could be. That, it, that maybe they're having their own legal issues and now they're trying to take you down with them. You know, misery loves company, whatever. Anyway, I think that you're doing quite well. And I think that somebody sees that you're doing quite well. I think that if you are... Well, let's get another card. Something is hidden. Some sort of truth is hidden, but, hidden, but it's going to come out. Somebody has been hiding something from you. Maybe it's money, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, you could you could be receiving some money from somebody. You know, could be a could be a father, could be an elder. I don't know what this is, but something is hidden. Something is hidden. Something that this is a wake up call, the truth coming out that has been hidden. Something's going on behind the scenes that is going to help you. It's going to help you with your abundance. It's going to bring ease to your life. So rest assured. I think that you guys have been in some sort of difficult, unjust, unjust situation with a person that... Maybe they're the one that has addictions. Oh, 
That could certainly be the case. You could be dealing with somebody who has addictions and now they have legal issues. There's addictions and legal issues here. Somebody has gotten themselves into a situation that has caused big problems. Big problems. And I feel like it's almost like they want to take you down with them. There could be, a, if for some of you, this is, this is going a different route. This just popped in my head. This is a divorce. I'm going to be single. Uh, this I want a divorce. I want to be single. This is unhealthy. It's toxic. There's no growth. There's abuse. You know, I, I want to go have fun. I want to enjoy life. I, I want to celebrate my life. And, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to move out, you know. There's definitely some sort of secrets here. But the truth is going to come out. This is letting go of the past hurts. You guys are really looking very well. I think that you're doing very well. I think that you, you know, your your self-worth and your self-confidence has, has, has went up quite a bit. I think you're standing in your power. But anyway, I feel like, I feel like the hurt that you have been dealing with is, is going to come to an end. If it hasn't, if it hasn't already, it is going to come to an end. Um... This is releasing pain. You're on that path. You. This is true. Okay. With these three cards, you are absolutely, and this one too, you're on the path to recovery. A big one. But you do have somebody here that is unhealthy for you. They're toxic. Okay. You're dealing with a toxic, unhealthy individual. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Libra. Could be a Leo. Could be a Gemini. Could be an Aquarius. But could be a sibling. Whoever this person is, this person is like... They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be more successful than them. I feel as though your ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in. The stuff that you have been waiting for that is, is happening. It's, it's like there's growth for you. I think your future is looking bright. I think the things that you have been hoping prefer, and praying for are, are now really, really close to being materialized. You know, I feel like... You guys are headed down the right, you're headed down the, the on the right track. And the only problem is, is either you or the person that you're dealing with has addictions. And that's a bit, that's a, that's a barrier. It's something that needs to be dealt with. Um, somebody's life has been turned upside down. They've made serious, poor decisions. Somebody has made some poor financial decisions and it's affected, it's affected a partnership in a, in a bad way. It really has. I really feel, I just want to keep on saying misery loves company, misery loves company. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel that's what, what I, misery loves company. I think that your, your future looks bright, and I think it's because you've taken action to, to make things better. I think that you've been working really, really, really hard. I do. I feel like you're you're feeling more grateful. I, I think that that you're seeing an increase in your money, and you're starting to be able to achieve things that you couldn't achieve before. But then you got this sneaky individual behind your back who's trying to bring you down because they're they got their own problems. Put it that way. Um, yeah, you guys are working hard. You've been putting in a lot of effort to bring success to your life, and I think that. You know, it's being recognized. Other people are recognizing your hard work and you got somebody here. And I think it's it's either a friend or a family member that really isn't, they don't have your back. But I think that you're going to receive something, Sagittarius. You're going to receive something. You're going to receive, it could be an inheritance, okay? It could be money. It could be a bonus. It could be something. You're gonna or help from somebody, help from a friend, or help from a lover, or help. This is receiving money. This is receiving seriously. I mean, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles, this is a payoff of some sort. It's a payout. It's a it's a raise. It's an increase. It's an inheritance. It's money. Receiving money that you probably didn't see coming, and it's because you've worked so hard, and it's because you have a lot of. I think people respect you, and you may not know it. You may not. You may not know it. You may not. But I'm just telling you that this is a very respectable energy. Um, you're dealing with a Debbie Downer, somebody that doesn't have anything good to say, 
somebody that is pessimistic, miserable. This is your misery loves company right here. They deliver bad news to take people down. So this is, you may receive some news from somebody. <laughs> oh God, they're lying anyway. They're, 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 they're just, they're, they've lost hope in themselves. They don't have hope. They, they, they're a negative individual, whoever you're dealing with. They, they don't see things on the bright side, put it that way. And I think that they're trying to, you know, take you down with them, whoever it is. Don't let them steal your hope. Don't let them steal your joy because whoever you're dealing with, just because they have an image problem, just because they have legal problems, or just because they have addictions, or just because they're not happy, don't let them take you down with, you, with them. Don't let, let them steal your energy. You're definitely dealing with an energy thief. It's like a psychic vampire type of individual that has kind of like lost hope this per person probably may cause you to you know doubt yourself you know because that's the way it is there's this these quotes that you read all the time about you know, the people you hang out with seriously take that into consideration consideration you take on their energy so you do so i mean i just have to be honest with you it feels like we are definitely dealing with somebody that is not good for you and I think that you need to, you know, you need to, you need to, you need to make a cut. This is take that power in your own hands. Do what's right for you. Take the lead in this situation. If you think somebody is lying to you, if you think somebody is not telling you the truth, if you think somebody that doesn't have your back, you know, speak your truth to them. Tell them like it is. Anyway. Nine of Swords Reverse. Give deep thought. Give deep thought to the relationships that you have in your life. That's what the meaning of the card is. Nine of Swords Reverse. Reversed. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. And I think your gut, your intuition has been telling you that. Beware. Beware. This is caution. You're dealing with an individual, I, you know, that really is... It's almost like they want to steal from you. Selfish. This is very selfish energy. This is... Um, the Empress dealing with pain. She's dealing with pain. She's smothering. The Empress reversed. She's a person that is dealing with, she's got pain. She hasn't delivered it yet. She's holding the pain inside. She doesn't want to face the struggle of the delivery. You're going to have to deliver that. You're going to have to face some sort of struggle, especially if you're the female here. In order to find peace, in order to find blessings, you have to expel the pain. You have to accept the pain. You have to let it out. So... Some of you may need to express yourself, okay? Um, for some of you, this is somebody not knowing their worth, not knowing their value. Somebody may not know your value. They may not know your worth. They may not respect you. And you deserve equality. You deserve mutual respect. You deserve equal give and take. Somebody needs to reevaluate their worth, their value. I think your gut knows that you're dealing with an individual that doesn't have your back, and you have the skills. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You have everything it takes to be successful without this person, whoever it is. So if you're in a toxic environment, you're in a toxic situation, I'm here to tell you that you have an opportunity to be successful. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You have everything it takes. You really do to face your fears. Don't, don't let somebody deceive you. Don't let the unseen keep you held back just because you don't know what's around that bend. I see victory and success around that bend. Keep going. Don't give your power away to an energy thief who wants to take you down with them. I see you being successful. I see you finding abundance, whatever it is. Is there new love coming in? I don't see love here. I see this is about 
money. A lot of it is about money. It's about holding on to stability. It's about holding on to some sort of obsession or something. There's, there's some sort of obsession here. There's some sort of resisting change. There's money. This is about money more than anything. Um, it is. It is. It's really not about love at this point because I think that you're dealing with somebody who really doesn't offer love. There's no love in these cards. I'm sorry. None. I, don't, I haven't seen any yet. It's not about love right now. It's about money. They may be using you for money or they don't want to pay you money. You know, there, there could be a divorce for some of you that's on the horizon, but somebody is holding on to you just because they don't want to pay you money. Or there could be a split. Somebody needs to move out, but they don't want you to move out because they want your money. This is money oriented. I think you're dealing with a liar who is not treating you fairly. I think that they're holding you back. But, I mean, this is good. Things are about to look up. Something is going to change. Deep fulfillment is coming. And, and, and not only is it uh, emotional fulfillment, it's financial fulfillment. Some sort of money is coming your way and it's because you didn't give up. I know that's exactly what this is. If you are single, I have to tell you that you could be meeting somebody soon. You could be. You could be meeting somebody soon. If you are single, you could be meeting somebody soon that you do have a deep connection with. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But you have to... Be optimistic. You have to be, use logic. You have to stand by your decisions. You have to honor your truth. You have to communicate your truth. You have to be honest with yourself. I think if you are the female coming in, this is this is probably who. You, I mean, if you are the female, this is who you probably have. Uh, that you could be deepening a bond with this person. This person is very um, intellectual, very intelligent. This is somebody, this could be a lawyer. This There could be a lawyer that gets involved, and this doesn't even have to be romantic. You could be hearing from a lawyer. You could be hearing, hearing from somebody in authority that's delivering you some sort of news that you're getting some money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is the case or not, but... Um, but this is somebody in authority. This could be somebody who's coming into your life. This could be, I mean, this guy is a protector. He protects people in some way. This is seeing the truth. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Something somebody's probably been avoiding, but you can't avoid it anymore. It's like the truth is being delivered. There's definitely been a delay. I wonder if somebody is It's almost like the justice system has been stalled, but it's about to be stalled no more. It's almost, I don't even need, I don't even know if we have the justice card. I can't remember if it came out or not, but it's almost like, I kind of feel like justice is about to be served for you. That's the way I feel. I don't know where that's coming from. I think that you guys have been stuck. You've been stuck in a situation that has kept you. It's almost like prison. Maybe somebody's going to prison or they're going to jail. And it's going to help you. <laughs> I hope it's not you. But I'm just saying this is like somebody's been stuck. Somebody has absolutely been stuck. But now it's like... It's time. It's time to remove this obstacle that has held you back, that has kept you stuck. There's going to be some sort of celebration. Happiness is coming.
It is. Happiness is absolutely coming. Maybe even a new commitment. You know, I feel like there's going to be a message that is delivered that is a difficult one. It's a difficult one. It might make you feel uneasy because you may end up on your own. You know what I mean? It feels like you might end up on your own. I don't know what that means. And then, and then you know, you might feel uneasy about it, but it leads to happiness. It does, and it leads to abundance, and it leads to peace, and it leads to you enjoying life and just, you know, without all that stress. So I see, it's almost like a personal freedom. That's what I see. I see you guys, you know, progressing to a better place through a lot of adversity. Breaking free. I can't make this shit up. I didn't see the card. I just decided to turn the deck over and that's, it happened to be, I turned it over this way. This is breaking free. A burden that has been on your back is about to be lifted. And I think it's, I honestly feel like this is universally driven. I do. I think the, 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 the full moon that we just had is helping with this. It's helping you to break free from a troublesome, burdensome, heavy situation that has weighed you down and kept you down for long enough. So be prepared for personal freedom. I think this is what this is. And I think that you're going to be quite happy with it. Very happy with it. Um, <laughs> do I think there's new love here? Uh, you know, there could be, there could be, if you're single, there could be, you could meet somebody at some sort of celebration, okay, picnic or whatever. If, if, uh, if you're in a couple relationship, it could go up to the next level. There could also be a divorce, okay? I saw, I think I saw that justice card earlier. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, but I, I feel like there could be a divorce, there could be a split. There could be a, a moving out. Somebody could be going to prison or they could be going to jail. I don't know. I see a change in the home circumstances. Somebody, It's like somebody's been using you just for the money. Anyway, I feel like you are going to be respected. I think that you are respected. I think that people see, that you're, see your hard work and you're going to get some sort of payoff for something that you don't see coming. It's, it's below the surface. But it's coming. It's coming. Good luck, Sag Sagittarius.